I gotta get adjusted. You know when, when your underwear starts getting up the track? <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop wearing G-strings. <laughs> No, I wear the kind that come down mm-hmm. around the thighs. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> Lace don't count. <laughs> you don't like my boy shorts? No, 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 no bro. <laughs> so, all right. Welcome back, Cigar Talk. I'm your host, Rob Jones. We've got Bryant Falconer, <laughs> the one and only <laughs> co host extraordinaire. Here we go. How you doing, brother? Man, it's hard out here for a pimp. <laughs> when that electric bill gonna come next week. <laughs> Dude, did you see some people were gonna get hit up with like over seven, five grand? There's somebody six got a grand. seventeen thousand dollar electric bill, man. That is outrageous. You know what? If this was the pre show, I'd probably say something like I'm glad it is. I would find out who did that. <laughs> I'd go to my gun safe. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'd make some moves. <laughs> So anyway, hey, uh, I'm gonna pour myself a drink. What We're you gonna drinking, be brother? drinking the George Dickel George Dickel. Barrel Select. Can we get a video of that, brother? Can we? Sweet can we, looking, we go. Sweet right, looking. Right there. Ah. Dude, let me tell you what. That's fantastic. Yes, you know, I was reading about it on the back of the bottle. You were, and it says, "Barrel Select whiskey is truly rare offering and the finest small batch Tennessee whiskey money can buy." Okay. That's a bold statement. I'm just going to say, you put it out there like Man, that, that, bro. That's a bold You got to stand on yeah. it. Yeah, so I'm going to pour You got to stand on it, bro. Shoo. I mean, that's forever. You put that out there. It's like the best money can buy. Hmm. That's. Hmm. So what if I'm bartering? <laughs> I could get something better. <laughs> or worse. Or worse. <laughs> so. Uh, and I and I gotta apologize. I've had some allergies huh. because after that big winter storm, yeah. all the pollen is just everywhere. Yeah, a little bit of wind is just flowing. If you breathe oxygen, you're like, uh, uh, I can't, I can't. What is it like? It's very nice. It's good. Very, very nice. So, it's 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 smooth, but it's got that like spice and caramel right at you so i'm gonna ask you act like larry and poor uh, how about you just pour <laughs> your own <laughs> you sit back there. there you go i'll enjoy what brian so, just looks hey, at me let's, let's talk about what you're smoking <laughs> amazon basin baby you know what amazon basin i you know i was thinking about what i'm gonna smoke on the show and what are you going for and while I was at the train car yesterday, I met some guys from Midland. Okay. And anyway, this one guy, Skyler, so what you gonna smoke? Sand? gave me a cigar. No, 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 not sand. How about that, baby? A Andalusian bull? How about that? Somebody blessed hey, you look, with a bull? Let's get a picture of that. Yeah, somebody blessed me with a bull while I was at the smoke shop wow. yesterday. Wow. And here's now, I'm going to ask this question. Yes, he didn't give me two. Okay. <laughs> then my question will stay his answer. <laughs> yes. So here's the thing about the San Diligent Bull. And first of all, it, yeah. is this the same profile? It doesn't profile? look. It looks different. Yeah. It looks like it's fatter at the bottom. Yeah. It's different. I don't know. But anyway, it's because it's been a long time. Look at time. that construction. Look Dude, at that wrapper, it's man. It's a beautiful cigar. Ooh. It is, let's, let's get that in there for the YouTubers right there. Man, that is beautiful, bro. Yeah, that, that's a beautiful mm. stick. So he was he actually gave me one, Brent one, another young lady that was there smoking, and his buddy one. And he gave me one, and they were all smoking them. Uh-huh. And I said to him... Skyler, would you be offended if I don't smoke this with you all if I took it with me so that I could smoke it on the show tomorrow night and Bryant wouldn't have one? <laughs> he said, yeah. He was like, yeah, that's cool. I was like, sweet. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, we've cut it 
Oh, the draw. That's it's, what it's supposed it's to perfect. be. What was that, 2018, uh, 16? No, that was like 15. 15 cigar a year, baby. And, you know, I don't think I've had one of these in probably about a year, or maybe, mm. maybe even two. Mm. It's been a while. Mm. So, you know, and I'll tell you this, the last one I had, Paul bought for my 50th birthday. So mm. I guess that was two, two years, years ago. ago. Yeah. And... It just completely fell apart on me, mm. and I was very upset because, mm. you know, you're expecting something grand. You're expecting the princess, and you got the scary guy, uh, stepmother. Oh, that rapper, dude. Look at it. It's oily. It's sexy. And then you shouldn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> So I do want to give a shout out to Skyler yeah. from Midland. Appreciate you guy. Hey, you know what? That's what the cigar community is all about. Oh, I met definitely. this guy probably, I don't know, two hours before that. Mm. And then after we got done recording, we went and sat oh, down. Oh, came over here. Mm. Oh, man. It smells wonderful, bro. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Get you. You know what? You look at, yeah, keep it on him. If, if you I, see him over there profile, I, <laughs> trying to <laughs> okay, all right. Somebody gonna bless me. You sit up here with a hey, hey. I gave you a stick from Mexico. <laughs> you got one too, <laughs> but you smoked my other one. So. Oh, one, one. It was mine. <laughs> you can laugh all you want. It was mine. <laughs> you know what I started to do? Oh lord, smoke all. So of everybody them. knows. Definition Cigars sent us some sticks. They sent us six sticks, three for me. No, four for you. <laughs> it's supposed to be three and three, but it turned up four and two. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. So, so yeah. Now, got, now got, y'all understand why I keep, when I keep saying, don't send my stuff to Rob. <laughs> send me a message. I'll give you my address. <laughs> You know, yeah, because, you know, it's funny because you say that because, you know, Sean O'Connor, uh-huh. Sean he, Smart. he sent his last care package with to Luke. Thank you. And Luke divvied up the cigar. Thank you. <laughs> an honest man. You know what I say? As an honest man in the Jones home. Traitor. <laughs> Traitor. <laughs> Traitor. Wow. For real? Jones, brother. <laughs> Come on, he, man. he took care of himself. He took care of you, and he took care of the, the guest. That's how you're supposed to do it, man. Put that slapjack down, <laughs> man. <laughs> so, anyway, I, I was blessed, Skyler. Thank you so much, man. It was a great trip to the train car. I'm sorry you couldn't make it. I know you had some plumbing issues to deal yeah. with, and then you had a grandbaby, had My a birthday, daughter's birthday party, man. Can't miss that. You talking about being in a doghouse? <laughs> <laughs> Forever. Or, you're in the doghouse with or, the wife. Or, you're in the doghouse with the father. You're in the doghouse with the lawn. No, yeah, no, not even that. <laughs> you're in the doghouse with everybody. So I was like, nah, I'm going to the birthday party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sat there, didn't eat any cake. What? Nah, bro. What's up? You don't like cake? I love cake. I just not right now. Mm-mm. Why, dude? I'm too big. I can't work out. I go to the doctor on the 25th, and hopefully I'm released fully to go back to the gym. Let me just ask you, well, you know, that may be too personal. Don't bother me. When's the last time you slept with your mother? Three. Okay. 50 years ago. <laughs> Fair enough. 50 years okay. ago. That's, that's going to get edited out. <laughs> 50 years ago. I was a little baby. <laughs> so what were we talking about? I said, the doctor's going to release me. I get to go back to the gym. So honestly, though, like how many pounds do you think you want to lose? A hundred. So I can help you do that. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can. You- I'm not listening to you. Uh, who are our sponsors? <laughs> Let's move <laughs> on. I'm not listening to you, bro. Oh, no, wait a minute. You're not going to, I'm not going down that rabbit hole, bro. No. <laughs> wow. No. I know who I know who sits across from me. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. The Lord said, know those that labor among you. I know you. <laughs> I'm not going down that. Nope. All right. Mm-mm. I'll tell you after the show. Next segment. <laughs> 
So anyway, sponsors. Yeah, let's talk about. Well, you know what? Let's talk about our Patreon. Oh, most definitely the Light 'Em Up Crew. The Light 'Em Up. We have the coolest Patreons out there, and they got the coolest name, the Light 'Em Up Crew. Oh (laughs) well, you know, dude. We, you know what? We all we all talked about different things. Anyway, that's what it came down to, and it was you know. They give me feedback on what they want to mm-hmm. do. But anyway, we just have the coolest members, oh, man. Almost definitely. If anybody, if you're a Patreon <laughs> or not, but you become a part of the Discord, <laughs> you'll see how cool they are. <laughs> it's dangerous. Oh, it's very dangerous. <laughs> it's in, what is it? NSFW. <laughs> that's why, that's why when we name the Light 'em Up crew, the crew is C R U E. Because, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> Danger. <laughs> Woo! I thought we're sitting at work and it's just ding, 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 ding. And you look at it like, ooh, no. Hey. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. It's a little wound up. So, or should you say spun up? Spun up. <laughs> so anyway, but we have a lot of fun with those guys. Mm-hmm. I talk to them almost on a daily basis. But we want to say thank you for all the support they Most give definitely. us. Because Most this show's definitely. not possible without, without them. So them. thank you. Yeah. And then... Let's talk about our three sponsors yes, that we have right now. Right Go now, ahead. we do have Go ahead. The Leaf, the cigar establishment in Abilene, Texas. You can find it at 1166 North 2nd, hey. downtown in a, a badass. It, <laughs> just, it, yeah, I, I was going to say a newly renovated, <laughs> but you know what? Badass it is way more described <laughs> yes. when you go down there. Because I was talking to somebody the other day, and I was like, they were like, oh, yeah, I've been to the Leaf. And I was like, but you have have mm-hmm. you been to the new location? Because it's night and day. Yes. And don't get me wrong. I love the old Leaf because mm-hmm. we had a lot of good times there and a lot of great conversations. Yes. But this place. However. Yeah. Th- this <laughs> is like walking into what you've always wanted Bruh. to find. Mm. So that being said, Talk about look it. down in the show notes and I have their phone number, the show notes every week. So if you need to make an order, and let me tell you what, they have Viva La Vida. Mm-hmm. They have the McAuliffe line. Mm-hmm. They have the Definition Cigar line. Mm-hmm. They have Arturo Fuente mm-hmm. coming out of the kazoo. My father. They have my father. I mean, dude, their humidor is amazing. Yes, it is. So call him up. He will set you up with a great dude and ask him, hey, what would you recommend if I like to smoke X, Y, Z? And he'll put together a sampler for you that'll blow your socks <laughs> off. Have you have you foaming at the mouth, bro? Yeah. <laughs> like, I got to get back. Hey, and one more to throw in there. What's that? He currently has the Alec Bradley. Oh yes, rare and fine. Hit him up. Hit him up. Or fine and rare. Fine and rare. So if these are not going to last, in fact, I'm going down there tomorrow because I'm not going to not get. It's my second pack, man. Wow. (laughs) I was gifted one. And then you treated yourself. I had to. Had to. I'm with you. I'm with you. So anyway, look down the show notes. You'll see their phone number. Call up Jay. Or if you're in the Abilene area, swing by. Check it out. The lounge. You will not regret the time you spend there. Anyway, our next sponsor is Case Elegance. Case Elegance makes man stuff. (laughs) They sell badass man stuff. Man. And so... I mean, the list goes on, but I know you're a watch guy. We've talked about that. They make some nice watch cases for multiple watches. Yes. I mean, I think I saw one that holds like eight or 16 or a million or something like that. (laughs) I'd like to be in that million category, though. You're a watch. Dude, show the camera your watch. Dude, that thing is like, I think I saw that during one of the rocky fights because <laughs> mr t came out no, with man. a big old thing no, of gold this is actually my san fran one san fran scarlet and gold oh, okay when i wear my san fran gear well thank you for not wearing it tonight <laughs> i actually had it but you never catch me with a silver and blue one next <laughs> <laughs> beat either but i don't wear watches yeah it's true I look at the sun, and I'm like, yeah, it's about 13 hundo. <laughs> you know, 
I mean, when you <laughs> where, where, where did you get that from? <laughs> what hundo? You know what? That's my wife. Well, I'm gonna leave it alone because I love Miss B. You, if you, if you said something like love it, I'd have just been like, you know what? <clears throat> my wife says hundo P. What is that? I don't remember. Do you remember? Should we get her on the phone and ask her? I think we should. Hundo P. Yeah, one hundo P. Hundo P. That's one hundred percent. Oh, you're right. One hundred percent. Hey, I couldn't remember what the P was when you say hundo P, but Bryant figured it out. One hundred percent. Bingo! Thank you. Hey, and this you're is, welcome. This is your first time ever being on the show. Welcome. So. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Love you. Love you. So yeah, hundo P. But did she have to say that because she was on the show? <laughs> Love you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I understand, bro. I understand. Case elegance. Did we ever do the review? No, we're doing that this week. Okay. Last week was the week, but yeah, the, the storm. winter storm completely. <laughs> Jack Frost came man, through <laughs> with his with his black boots, <laughs> kicking he, indoors. He came in with a coat on. <laughs> it's too cold for me in Texas right now. <laughs> Dude. And us Texans, we're not used to that. Mm-mm. You know. You know, all the tough Texans, <laughs> do you throw them in like 15 degree or less weather? <laughs> they be, you see the truth? <laughs> it's too cold out here. <laughs> like, man, I was raised in this stuff, man. Yeah, that's not me. I understand. I don't like it. I in fact, it. I had to stop and get gas. And I was not dressed appropriately. <laughs> Did you have on flip flops? I had flip flops and shorts on. <laughs> But let me tell you, Jesus, dude, it was cold. Jeez, it was supposed to be, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I wasn't prepared. <laughs> the sun is out, <laughs> but it's thirty below. <laughs> yeah, it was it was nothing nice for me. Mm. But yeah, yeah, the winter thing hit. But anyway, we're doing that this week. We're gonna have. We're gonna just put it right here. Okay, video it, open it up, check it out. Gotcha. And then the next week, we're going to do a giveaway. Give away. We're going to give that humidor away. We got that Oliva pack to give away, too. What Oliva pack? The one that with the travel case. It's 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 a pack. It's a pack. It's something that a person was like, hey, I can do everything with this. Nice. Yeah. We got some gifts for people. Can they go way. skiing with them? <laughs> In Texas, yeah. <laughs> Not up north. <laughs> in Texas, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. That's You are talking about that the other day at the league. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, we'll do. You know what? Maybe we should do that Oliva pack. Now, it come with a travel case? Yes. Okay, well, then never mind. I was going to say we could give it away with the humidor. Oh. But if it has a travel pack, let's make that a separate giveaway. Gotcha. All gotcha, right, bro. cool. Hey, well, let's jump into... You got yeah, I know. That's oh. why I said let's jump right into McAuliffe Cigars, McAuliffe. longtime sponsor. Always. And there's a love affair there mm-hmm. between me and Al's Medallia. Pop- pocket. <laughs> <laughs> going to the going to the restaurants. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> you know what? One time I forgot to pay my tab. One? Okay, maybe two. (laughs) It's like, oh, hey, I got it. (laughs) Forgot. forgot. You know, the first time I did that, though, Uh I was I left the Silver Leaf, uh-huh. and I it wasn't a it wasn't a restaurant. It was a liquor tab. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> now that one was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I left, and about like fifteen minutes into my drive, I was like, I forgot to pay my tab. Yeah, Al didn't. <laughs> so I sent Al an email, and I was like, Al, I am so sorry. I'm embarrassed. I really apologize. I forgot to pay my tab. If you'll let me know how much it is, I'll send you a check. And he was like, I got it. <laughs> And I was like, okay, I'm a moron. <laughs> then? <laughs> then the second time, it was pretty much the same story. <laughs> anyway, but anyway, let's let's talk about yes, Mount Cal Cigars. 
awesome, awesome company. Awesome cigars. Their cigar line is amazing. Tell you the know, truth. I was talking to actually one of the guys yesterday was smoking a Riata. Yeah. Ooh. And I told him that was Luke's first cigar, uh, a Riata. He was blessed, what? Yeah. I mean, dude, that's that's starting it way up in the Coming top. Coming out. But anyway, if you would like to become a McAuliffe ambassador and and you know, be part of that family that rock and rolls all day, all night. Dude, have you been in the Facebook chat room? It's like, yep. Because those dudes have created a community, and that's what you want to be a part of. It's a virtual brick and mortar community. Absolutely, virtual brick and mortar. It really is. Yep. And so, if you haven't become an ambassador, look down the show notes. You can click on the link, take you straight over to the McAuliffe website, and you can sign up for your personal challenge coin. Numbers. They will be numbered. <laughs> Numbers. <laughs> I'm at 298.65. Bryant is at 165, but Uh-oh. Luke is at like 3.8 trillion. <laughs> <said> three point. <laughs> why you put it, why you put you out there like that, bro? <laughs> I think he's like 5238, something like that. It's just amazing. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, he's pointing at the coin like he thinks I'm going to get up. <laughs> he says here. So look down the show notes, click on the link, yes. go by, sign up. If you haven't tried yes. the McAuliffe Cigar Line, let me tell you what. They are one of the only companies I know of that draw test their cigars. Mm-hmm. So you're never going to get a great cigar and then you light it up and you can't smoke it. Yep. You know, construction to me is one of the highest it's levels integral, man. of yeah. yeah to me it starts there i don't care how it looks what it smells like what it tastes if i can't draw it and draw it consistently right it's going back in it's in the ashtray I right get, i get not, something i'm else. not gonna fight it no so no. so anyway click on the link go sign up to be an ambassador and let us know what number you are when you get your coin three point <laughs> eight trillion <laughs> So anyway, let's jump into our pick six. Yes, sir. And then later up in the show, we're going to talk about what we consider to be your top 10 value sticks. All of them will be under $10. Some of them are under 6 bucks. Yeah. But these are sticks that when you smoke them, it's smoking a quality stick. You're not smoking mm. a value stick. It's not a budget stick. It's mm. actually a phenomenal stick. It just doesn't cost much money. Yep. So who's going first? I'll let you go first. I'm pulling mine up. Well, I actually I have mine. If you're what? ready, yeah, I I go actually. Ahead. So this week earlier, I picked up a Partagas Black. It's been a while. Phenomenal, yes. Yeah, you know, it's been a while since I've had the Partagas Black. And dude, just as always, it delivers. Ooh. Dude, that's a great stick. I don't smoke it as much as I used to because it is full body to the max. But that being said, it's still a great stick. And every now and then, I'd love to smoke one. Second on my list is the Placencia Reserva Original. Well, I got to take that off my list. Dude, I got to find another dude, one. Dude, that's been a phenomenal stick. I had stick. that one this week, too. <laughs> and then, let me, let me zoom in here. This is the... 601 Warhead. Mm. <laughs> you see that? Mm. Look over here. Look yes, over here. sir. Oh, he pulled that picture up again. So anyway. Your father is sick, Luke. <laughs> so anyway, that's my three sticks for the okay. week. I think those I I think those are solid sticks to be your best sticks of the oh, week. Most definitely. My number one is gonna be The Last Call by AJ Fernandez. Oh, good stick. Was that gift. was a gift from yeah. old Spalding. Yeah, Spalding Brown. Thank yes. you, Mr. Brown. Yes, sir. Great stick. No issues. Loved it. Next is going to be The King is Dead by Caldwell. Whoa. Where did you get that? Mm. You got a bull? <laughs> I got a king is dead. All right. You know, I'm a fan. Where'd you get that? Uh, somebody named uh, Tacoma what? Tacoma what? Washington. John. Tacoma John. What? 
What? He hooked me up, man. He hooked me up with some sticks. Bro. Wow. He hooked me up with some sticks, bro. Good for you. And the last is going to be by Drew Estates, the legal provider, T52. Who hooked you up with that? <laughs> that's, a, that's an impressive thing. <laughs> I smoked that Saturday, and that was for... Uh, it was the pre, the pre fight stick, and my nephew lost. So. Oh, you know, he are, slipped. Yeah, he slipped and got caught with an uppercut and went to sleep. He hurt. went to sleep. Yeah, it wow. hurt me, man. But it, it scared me because he has never been locked out, never. So it was like, is he all right? <laughs> and my brother was like, I'm waiting on the call. I'm waiting on the call. I was like, man, <laughs> dude, but. Now he's fourteen and three, so but he's still my champion. Hey, I ain't gonna fight him. <laughs> I'm not going nowhere near him. <laughs> but those are my three. What's it pay? It pays a lot. <laughs> it I pays can, a hey, lot. I can take a dive. <laughs> <laughs> it pays a lot. But I enjoyed those three. Those are my three. Those are great threes. Yeah, thank you. I'm bro. impressed, man. I'm real impressed. So let me pull up my list of. Our best value of 2021 cigars thus far. All right, I got my list. This is our list of the top 10 value cigars that you're going to want to smoke. Because it's not like smoking a value stick. It's just like smoking a premium cigar. At a blue collar price. Yeah. And there's a lot of those sticks out Mm. there. So the first one right out of the gate is the Arturo Fuente <clears throat> Hemingway short story. Mm-hmm. You know, that's mm-hmm. about a seven to eight dollar stick. Yes, sir. And talk about quality. <sighs> Arturo Fuente. Cameroon wrapper or Maduro, either way, mm-hmm. whichever one you prefer. And I mean, it is as smooth as silk. Got you, bro. Got you. I mean, for an Arturo Fuente short story. And the thing about it is you see the size of it. And you're like, oh, that's not going to last very long. <laughs> Surprise. If you enjoy the smoke, mm-hmm. you're going to spend at least 45 on it. Mm-hmm. A good 45. Yeah. Yeah, a good 45. If you really, you know, sit back and mm-hmm. intently enjoy the cigar, it's especially, a 45 plus. Especially if you uh, paired it with a good bourbon. You'll sit back. Yeah, you you got a good 45 to an hour. Yeah. yeah. You so, do. you know, a lot of people see those smaller cigars. And it's like, ah, I smoked that quick. No. No, 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 no. You want to sit back and enjoy it, bro. You do. All right. The next one is going to be, let's see, let me shoot my list here. The Hoyo Law Amistad by A.J. Fernandez. Mm. Dude, that's a great stick. Mm. And you know I love the Habano wrappers. Tell the truth. <laughs> and it's got Nicaraguan filler and binder, and it is a phenomenal smoke. Mm-hmm. I mean, and dude, and that cigar is usually around six to seven bucks. Well, it's it's probably six fifty to seven fifty for a AJ Fernandez Cameroon. I mean Habano, <laughs> the Habano, <laughs> and you know I'm a big fan of Habanos. <laughs> Everybody knows you know that, man. Are you are you there? I am. I truly am. I truly am. It's it's a different rapper, but it's a rapper that gets your attention. To me, it you, uh, it, it it just promotes complexity. Yeah. Yeah. I give you that. I give you know you what that. I mean? Yeah. If if it has a Habano rapper, it's not gonna be bland. Nah. Definitely not bland. <laughs> it, it's it's got a lot of good flavors mm-hmm. to it. I, I love the level of spice because it's not over the top. No, nah. it's right where you want to be throughout the cigar. Mm-hmm. You don't get that big power punch at the end with the, all the spice. Yeah. It's just nice. It's a good stick, a good stick, and definitely within our wheelhouse. So the next one is the Punch Grand Puro. Santeria. You know me and Punch. I said Ria. Rita. <laughs> Santa Rita. Lubbock, you don't pronounce the T. That's right. You just go R I A. <laughs> Remember E T? Yeah. It was just E. No. It was Eddie Torres. 
You remember that? You wrong for that. Man. Okay, all right, I'll let you that wrong. go. I'm gonna let that. Don't go. kill him, San Diego Jack. <laughs> Don't kill him. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the next one on the list is, and you know, I rag on LFD, oh, but like. you know what? You look at what I've spoken tonight. Great <laughs> stick, great stick. The bull, the bull, gift from Skyler. Don't rub it in, man. Anyway, uh, <laughs> this is on my list, and I smoked one of these last week yeah. at the Leaf because it had been a while. Got you. And it's the LFD 1994. Mm. Dude, that's a great stick. Yeah, that Tango is a bad stick, bro. That's a bad stick, man. I And, and it gets overlooked. <laughs> yeah. Because the band is not flashy. You know, it's not extravagant. It's, it's a picture of a flower. Yeah, that's it. Or two flowers. And then you... You you light it up, and immediately you're like, <laughs> "I got one, <laughs> I got one." Yeah, man. And it's 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 I classify it as a medium. Gotcha. But it's just great. The one I had has been great construction. Good, good. The flavor profile is mellow, creamy, hmm. but it gives you some complexity. So, and I think I I paid less than eight bucks for that at the Leaf. Hmm. Hmm. So one of my next ones, and this is going to be one that I just bought a box of, is the Five Vegas Classic. Dude, <laughs> let me tell you what. That, when it says classic, when you smoke that cigar, it is a medium at best. Yeah. But it has so much flavor. The construction was fabulous. Mm -hmm. And it just made you feel like you were smoking a cigar that they would have smoked back in the 60s. <laughs> you know what I mean? Got you. But the Five Vegas, is uh, they surprised the folks, man, because you gave me that classic that time. I was like, I looked back at it. I was like, what? Bro, like you said, that that ride, it's it's complex, man. This box of classics I just recently got when was did you the recently first time get them? was the first time that I had had the classic. When did you recently get them? <laughs> About three weeks ago. <laughs> That's recent. How many's left? Zero. I got <laughs> zero. <laughs> hey, I gave you one. I know <laughs> one. <laughs> I appreciate that. Hey, you I really do. So my next one, and this was a throw in. After a consultation. Consultation? Consultation. Oh, I got you. Okay. Let me just tell everybody <laughs> the pollen has blown in and I am stopped up. That's the second word because you classification, you just classification. I can't breathe. <laughs> but I'm still smoking. Hey, that's true. You know what? I'm dedicated. And the metaphor has us clear it. Yes. So anyway, Jay gave us input on this. This was the La Gloria Cabana Spanish Press. Great stick. Great stick. Great stick. Eight dollars. Mm hmm. It's a phenomenal stick. Worth more than that. <laughs> Worth more than that. Hey, here's another one that's on my list. How about the Arturo Fuente 858 Maduro? Mm. Eight, mm. eight, eight dollar ish mm. stick. Then you got a nice little list here, bro. Thank you, thank you. I put a lot of thought, a lot of effort, and a lot of consultation. A lot of consultation. <laughs> I reached out. You reached out to people that had. You didn't grab anything when no, you reached no. out. I, I reached out <laughs> to people that are in the know. I, I like that answer. You know I like I mean? that answer. I got some help. Yeah. I got some help because you know, if you really want to know, uh -huh. you talk to a cigar shop owner. Uh -huh. He's got information. He has all the information. Yeah. He's like he's like Red from Shawshank. <laughs> I like that one. A man that knows how to get things. Yeah, how to get things. So anyway, yeah. And then the next one, he actually brought up Crux. Mm. But and I've smoked a couple of them. And last week was this was on my list of top three. Uh huh. This is the Crux. Bull and bear. Mm. Dude, this is a phenomenal stick. I am like loving it. All I got to do was smell it. Oh, you didn't get smoked. Yeah, because you didn't think about it, brother. Dude, 
It's a bold Nicaraguan Habano wrapper. And it smelled great. Yeah, it is phenomenal. And it looked great. Now, this is one of your oldie but a goodie favorites. Oh. The punch. What I say earlier? <laughs> we don't want to put up there what you said earlier. The Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> the Diablo. Me and Luke died laughing. He said, did he say Diablo? <laughs> I was like, yeah. Hey, maybe. <laughs> and then he tried to deny. I, I, yes, you did. <laughs> That's 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 a no, no brainer. No. If you haven't smoked the a Diablo, Diablo. Oof, it's you, it's it's you wasting your time. You wasting your time it's, if it's you have it. Beckoning, Yo, t- nice, you. nice. It is nice. It is beckoning to be smoked. Nice. Look at that loving by man. A, by a cigar fish. Beckoning, yes. Beckoning. Ah, oh, like beckoning. that. The lighthouse in the midst of the fog. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am. Here I am. But I know a lot of people that I I can guarantee you that have never smoked a Diablo. Yeah. I'm not that one of those people because I've been, he said Diablo again. <laughs> Diablo, <laughs> Diablo. <laughs> oh my goodness, man! <laughs> no, nah, bro, let it go. Let me get the fiddle warmed up for real. <laughs> but the Diablo is in it. Say it right. Diablo is a great stick, man. You get it's it's it's. It has a punch, but the complexity throughout it is just, it's amazing. And man. I think that's like 785. And you pull it out and you say, like, oh, this dark stick is going to be hard. No, bro. No. Uh-uh. No, it's, it's definitely not so hard that you don't get the blend. Yes. But it's hard enough that it is a medium plus. It. Its name is Punch. Right. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that goes without saying. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, it's a KO. <laughs> it's a knockout, baby. It's a knockout. What so you got next? anyway, let's see. Oh, I know you're gonna like this one. This is one of those that I don't smoke a lot, but every once in a while I come back to it. What's that? It's the nub, and this one that I'm recommending is the Sumatra. Mmm. Mm. Now, are you aware that the nubs Sumatra? The wrapper is the same wrapper from the Milanio V. I didn't know that. Yes, sir. Uh, How about that? That's why I love that Sumatra. I love Sumatra. Now, this is one that has been on my list as of this year because I'd never found it last year, and Jay brought them into the the shop. Uh The Alec Bradley project for home run, now, bro. i know you probably prefer the maduro yeah i prefer the natural okay but i've smoked them both me too and for a stick under seven bucks both of them are phenomenal. dynamite yes both of them are dynamite phenomenal. Yes. he got that word phenomenal. Right. Phenomenal. <laughs> don't do that phenomenal. we're gonna have folks <laughs> like he put that song in my head <laughs> But that's a great smoke, man. That Project Forty surprised me. It did. It really me. did. It, it's like okay, you look at it. It's got you know, it's just a worded band, and you're like, okay, yeah. But when you, <laughs> well, you know, that sucker man, and light it, you're like, whoa. In 2019, it made the top twenty on Cigar Fish Nose. Yes, yeah. and and I wanted to try it for the whole year. Never saw it. Mm-hmm. Jay brought them in, and I wanted to try it because I was like. I know this ain't no top twenty five cigar. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And he was like, and I was like, whoa, uh oh, wow, yes sir. They they kind of surprised me, even though because I don't really believe nothing cigar fish Donald says. <laughs> so you know, I don't know what's paid and what's real. Yeah, that's true too. So whatever, but they were spot on. Yeah. I, I thought that was a great stick. That is, it is, man. And I can't help but think that they weren't going. This is a six dollar cigar. <laughs> oh, they they pubbed it up on this flavor. They pubbed it up on the ride. They pubbed up the uh, the presentation. They pubbed up the uh, the wrapper. They did all those things. And then when you find out how much it cost, you're like, really? Yeah. All of this in in blows like it really away. blows it away. Like, oh yeah, I can get a few of these then. <laughs> You know that was number 10, bro. That was number 10. You, what, ended what that, happened? you ended that list good, man. I like that. Hey, you know what? That's a solid list. It is. And we will post all 10 of those mm-hmm. cigars, not in the show notes, but in the, uh, 
YouTube channel. Notes. Oh, I thought she was going to try to say bibliography. The bibliography. <laughs> The Biblia. Dude, have you, have you ever watched the YouTube channel where Irish people try American stuff? No. Oh, it's great, dude. They've got like eight different uh, Irish people, and they put two of them at a time, uh-huh. and they like let them try like American candy, American meat, okay. American uh, booze, okay, and they usually hate it. Yeah, but you try Irish food, and you'd hate it, too, because I'm not eating some of the things. Some of that stuff don't even look like it's cooked, man. I don't even know what they eat. Dude, it was some stew that they were, and it wasn't on that. I saw it on a, uh, I saw it on Facebook and they brought out this Irish stew and I'm like, that's not even cooked, man. And they were eating. I was like, oh my God. No, I'm good, man. I'm good. I just be hungry in Ireland. <laughs> so they were, they were eating raw food? It looked raw, but uh. they said it was cooked. I was like, it doesn't look cooked to me. You know how we have our stuff here. We even have well done. You know what I'm saying? That didn't look cooked at all. It didn't. Let me tell you something. I used to work with a guy, and we went out to eat steaks, and I ordered mine medium rare. Pokal. How do you like yours? Medium well. Really? Medium. So like a prime a prime rib, medium. You can't do prime rib medium. Yes, you can. No. I do. I do like like ribeye like a ribeye mm-hmm. you can do medium well mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. so I, do I said mine. medium I didn't say medium well on that now my steaks medium he well. Say medium well I said, he said medium well oh. I said medium see? okay see anyway he hears what he wants so let me tell you this this guy's name is Rod Holbrook okay we went into a restaurant I order mine medium well. Uh, No, medium rare. See? (laughs) You got me messed up. And he says, put it on the grill for 90 seconds, flip it over for 90 seconds, and bring it to me. Why even do that? He just wanted the marks on it? I guess. (laughs) But me, being adventurous as I am, I'm like, hey, man, I'd like to have a bite of that because I've never had one like that. uh, And it was still... Cool. cool. Oh, no, I can't do it. Hey, hey. <laughs> no. And, and rubbery. No, I can't like do it. chewy. No, I can't do it. <laughs> no. You might as well just went and bit out the <laughs> Come here. <laughs> it, was ve- it was very hard for me to swallow oh, that nah, bite. Bro. Nah. I was like, I don't know what level of rare. 90 seconds and 90 sides. seconds and just give it here. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, nah, bro. I can't do it, man. No, no, I can't do that. That's a total of three minutes. <laughs> That's a, a minute and a half to each side. Right. Dude, no, 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 no. It, ha- it has to change temperature. <laughs> you know, and I'm not getting cold. I mean, getting a little bit warmer. No, I can't do that one. No, I can't do that. Yeah, one. I, I'm a medium rare guy, and I can stand it a little bit more rare than that, and I can stand it a little bit more uh, medium. medium than that. Mm-hmm. I mean, and I'm pretty flexible. I don't like well done uh, because it gets dry. Yeah, see, I was raised on well done, though, because my mother's like, it's not cooked until it's brown all the way through. Uh, but then when I got grown <laughs> and developed my own palate, I was like, nah, that's a lot of chewing, bro. <laughs> medium to medium well is perfect for me with my, with, with, with my beef, man. I love it. I love it. That Let way. me tell you something. Now, in our Patreon group, uh-huh. we got some guys that can cook. Yeah, that's true. That's we true. created a special room in the Discord. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Or maybe I do, and I don't want to say it on the show. So we'll just say it's called Fatso. <laughs> and everybody posts their foods. Uh-huh. Dude, I get hungry. <laughs> Z from California. Uh-huh. Dude, he did a brisket last week that was, mm. woo. I got a story about that, but go ahead. Kyle, he, dude, he showed... Like he had been on a competition and had his meat sitting on top of like broccoli. Yeah. Or, no, it wasn't broccoli, but it was that something like lettuce, curly, whatever. Parsley, something like that. Something like that. Yeah. He said it was like 50 bucks for the parsley or whatever. Because it was all about presentation. Yeah. But dude, these dudes can cook. Yeah. See, I, I love that. 
my uh, this past winter storm that just went through. I called my daughter, my youngest, and said, uh, Colleen. I said, how you doing? What's going on? She said, well, we just tried to go get some groceries. And I was like, well, okay. She said, but everything was sold out. So we went on base to the commissary. And they went to get, she said, the only meat they had was a brisket. I was like, oh. Perfect. I said, so you got to grill it? She said, daddy, we ain't got no grill. I was like, you do know it takes a while to cook a brisket, right? She said, how long? I said, uh, eight hours. <laughs> Eight twelve, <laughs> I said, but you know you can put a brisket. It, depending on how big it is, you can put it also in a crock pot if you don't have a grill. Uh, but she, she, I'm like when she said she didn't have a grill, I was like, well, you gonna have to cook that for a while. And then I hear, I can hear on the voice, huh? It's like, yeah, a brisket. You have to cook it because it has to low be low and yeah, slow. Yeah, low and slow because you want it to keep all that moisture. You want it to be, you know, you want it to be edible. You don't want jerky. <laughs> she was like, oh, well, what are we going to do until then? I said, did you get you some peanut butter and jelly? Because <laughs> it's just going to be a while. Better grab you a Snickers. <sighs> Man. But it just amazed me. She's like, how long? I said, about eight hours at least. She said, you can hear the disappointment in her voice, huh? Yeah, that's not gonna be a throw it on the grill. A uh, ninety seconds on this side, <laughs> ninety seconds on that side. <laughs> you gotta cook it, baby. Let me ask you a question. Talk to me. What do you think about that Dickel Barrel Select? Man, that stuff is smooth, baby. Woo. That caramel is getting me though. I, I every time I, I turn it up, I get that aroma. I'm like, yes, <laughs> it's yes. very, very nice caramel. Mm -hmm. Or as I like to say. Caramel. I said caramel, and then you said caramel. <laughs> <laughs> pecan, pecan. <laughs> Which one do you say? Pecan. He had to think. He's like, uh. Well, yeah, I mean, pecan. Yeah. What do you say? I say pecan, but people say pecan. I'm like, you say pecan? Apricot or apricot? Apricot. Orange, not orange. <laughs> I say apricot. You do? Yeah. What do you say? I say apricot. That's what I say. No, you, no, yeah, you did. I just asked you did. what you I had say. to think. I was like, wait a minute, what did he say? It's 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 hard with you in words. You know, my 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 dad was. How do I say this? And not be offensive. <laughs> White trash. <laughs> you know, we were poor. Clean it up, bro. <laughs> it up. But my dad had a funny vocabulary as well. Okay. Like if you say pinch. He says peach. Peach? Peach. And I was like, do you say inch? <laughs> he said, I'm going to inch off your ass. <laughs> peach. <laughs> but he said apricot. That's what made me think uh, of that. And okay. we we're like, oh, it's apricot. apricot yeah. So and we say, depending on where you're from. But I don't know if that's true because I don't know anywhere you're from that you say pinch. Uh, <laughs> pinch. Pinch. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if there's like a section of Mexico where they say pinch. <laughs> <laughs> don't kill him, Junior. Don't kill him. <laughs> I wonder how San Diego Jack's doing. I, I really do, man. He hit me up because uh, I send him TikToks, weird TikToks. Like I said, I you. called him. He didn't answer. And then he called he me. Working, and I couldn't man. answer. No, we just miss each yeah, other. But that brother is working, man. Yeah. He's doing something new. Yeah. What is he doing? I can't remember. Some kind of cleaning, cleaning thing. Yeah. I want to I wanna talk to him about that and see what he's doing. Because let me tell you something. San Diego Jack, if he's doing something. He's doing it right. Oh, 100%. Always. Yeah. Oh, like, or 100P. Like, yeah, 100P. <laughs> he makes me feel guilty. Why? Because I ain't doing all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when he was talking about that building and how you used to get so mad. He's like, man, I showed him exactly how to do it. Exactly. And then I walked back an hour later and they're doing it. He said, what are you, stupid? <laughs> yeah. I used to love him calling people stupid. What are you stupid, man? That dude was a riot, man. But like you said, he was a hundred percent on everything. If he didn't do it right, if you didn't do it right, he got in there and did it himself, right? And I love that, man. He came and saved yeah, me sucks one day. He left. Sucks. He <laughs> left. But I understand. No, 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 no. I, I completely understand, and I'm glad. You know what? I think he's happier back out there. Mm -hmm. 
you know, it was originally because the wife's family mm -hmm. health issues, mm -hmm. but I think once he got back out there, he saw all the things that he had been missing yeah, here. That he couldn't do here. Yeah. Because, I mean, you know. The thing he had day. here was us in the leaf. Right. And he loved that, but it was just more for him to do in California. Well, I mean, you know, dirt bike riding. Yeah, beaching. Four-wheeling. Yeah, everything. Beaching. Cause he, 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 but he still hits us up for sticks. No, he don't want to pay the California prices. <laughs> Hey man, I need this. All right, I'll be your dope dealer today. <laughs> right. So I miss that dude though, man. It's cool. Oh, absolutely. Man. It's cool. Fifty. It's cool, man. We can run with it, or just let it go. What do you mean? Life, man. Oh, especially you know today. what I you know what I came up with just recently. <laughs> oh, recently. <laughs> mm -hmm. I decided that there's nothing that prevents you from doing whatever you want to do. True. It's a choice. Nothing. Yep. It's a choice. You either do it or you don't. If you want to go rob a bank tomorrow, you can. And we had a guy on the show that, that told you how to do it. Right. Right. <laughs> Joe lawyer yep <laughs> told you how to do it and get away with it <laughs> but i mean i'm just saying just do what you want to do yes. and don't worry about the consequences <laughs> <laughs> now that part <laughs> i can't agree with you i cannot agree with you on that part <laughs> because there are consequences to your actions man <laughs> but you don't have to worry about them. <laughs> you don't wear a prophylactic <laughs> You got 18 hey, years to, so here's, to be broke. <laughs> here's what I'm going to tell you. Talk to me. When we started the show, I, t I was talking about the Andalusian Bull. Mm -hmm. And the last one I had started blowing up. Yep. This one has started blowing up. I'm looking at up. it. <laughs> he started doing this. I was like, look at that. Groucho Marx. <laughs> you can see that the old LFD... Just keeps on keeping on, keeping on with the shitty construction. <laughs> Here's a question, though. What type of stick did Groucho smoke? I have no idea. Me neither. That's just, when I said that joke. You Let's know, look that up. Yeah. Like, every time you saw him on the Marx Brothers, he had a stick. What did he smoke, man? Talk to me. Google, talk to me. Hey, and while you're looking that up, I want to tell everybody who listens, if you're on Instagram, I want you to go by and check out a friend of ours on Instagram and follow him. He is like a, doing a, an amazing job, but his name is Sean's Cigar Life. If you're on Instagram, look up Sean's Cigar Life. That dude, he is not just a connoisseur of cigars but Ooh. dude food bourbon scotch yeah. wine it there is a list this dude is a connoisseur of everything like larry said he came with a uh, a backpack full of bourbon <laughs> like eight <laughs> bottles <laughs> but go by and check out his page it's sean cigar life follow him and if you want a cigar buddy that dude is a cigar buddy 100 percent all right, so what are you looking up over there? I'm trying to find Groucho Marx's cigar. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that'll be something you can tell everybody next week when yeah, we come sir, back. Because this is going to be a, a a true search. Yes, it's not going to be a two second. One. No, no. So, mm -hmm. anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up the show this week. We appreciate you hanging out with us, and I hope you enjoyed a good cigar while you're hanging out with us. Check out the credits after the show. We have all the Patreons listed. And uh, uh, there will be a link on how to become a Patreon member if you want to uh, be dirt. one of the light em up crews. <laughs> yep, uh, <dirt. laughs> so anyway, guys, y'all have a great week. And until next time, keep smoking. Where's the boom? But